Hi Taurus, welcome to your end of, well, middle of May to end of May reading. It's going to be general. We're going to see what message is coming out from Spirit regarding um, the full moon and total lunar eclipse. I'm going to give you two rituals that I normally do during a full moon. It'll be even more powerful with the total lunar eclipse. If you use crystals, put them in a jar with a lid and water. Could be any kind of water. I usually use bottled water. Um, put them with the lid on, put it outside on your step or on your windowsill the night of the full moon and allow the energy to um, bring power, to cleanse and bring power back into your crystals. For those of you that have duplications of crystals, you can leave the crystals in the water and then drink a little bit of water every day and you know manifest. Think of something that you want to happen to come towards you in the near future and drink the water have enough to last until the next full moon. So it's just like a sip. So the other one I do is I write down on a piece of paper everything that I want to do, I want to accomplish, what I want in a person, um, my friends, communication, family, things that I want to shed also on a piece of paper. So then burn it. Make sure it's safe, like in a sink or a bathroom sink, kitchen sink, but somewhere that you can gather the ashes. Go outside to your yard, to your front yard, backyard, a pot or a plant that you have in your home, or a park. If that's not even feasible at your home, go to a park. Dig a little hole and put the ashes in there. Allow the full moon energy to make it, you know, to make it powerful for the universe to connect to and your spirit sources to connect, and you'll see what happens. There are two that I do, usually during full moons. But with the lunar eclipse, it's going to make it so much more powerful. All right, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If those of you that are new, please subscribe, like, and share. I can pull in your energy as I meditate before your reading and bring more personal messages to you um, in future readings. Badger Spirit, number four. Be fearless and bold. Four, a very spiritual number. Obviously, Lotus Sutra. Um, and then my Etsy channel is Lotus Sutra 4-4. Four, four. It's the number that I had my spiritual awakening to. When I was going through a hard time and it was like a knock on my head when I saw 444 four, four, and I looked up the meaning, everything transpired from that point on. The Thinking Man, card of 46. Masculine or feminine. It's like you're looking at the crystal. Look at this. The crystal. What do you truly want in your life? What makes you happy? Who makes you happy? Be true to yourself and know what you want. Write it all down. Do that. Do exactly what I said. All right. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. I, ears wide open, Awaking the Lion came out. But neither one of them flipped over. But they did. Wouldn't it be funny if it was the same too? The Rose's Kiss. Card of Nine. I love that even more. See how it's blossoming, blooming? It's like all that saying. Bloom. Blossom where you're planted. Or bloom where you're planted. No matter what your situation, it always shine. See the ladybug? Fortune, good luck is coming your way. Power of purpose. See, look at that. The thinking man and the power of purpose. Be fearless and bold. If there's something that you've been thinking about that you want to take a risk on, a person that you want to venture towards, spirit is telling you now is the time. Just want to make sure my camera is still taping. 
So I'm going to do past energy, present energy, since we're only a couple days away from the full moon, total lyrics, total lyric lifts. What you need to embrace and what you need to let go of. And then I'm going to pull a few cards for love. I've already done a full love reading, so if you haven't seen it, just click on it on my page. Spirit, past energy, present energy, what you need to embrace, and what you need to let go of. And then this is going to be for love. And at the bottom, see, that victory, that powerful move, knowing that Whatever you set out to do, you have the power within you to make it a victory. All right, past energy. You might have just finished school or maybe made a powerful move to go back to school. Continue your education. Might be taking um, a chance and a different position wherever you work. But you're gaining knowledge where somebody could be coming towards you with an offer, an apology, an offer with the Page of Pentacles. Queen of Wands, the passion and the desire of what you want. This person coming towards you could have a lot of passion for you. Could be a fire sign with earth in their chart. Could be a younger earth sign with fire somewhere in their chart. No, I think they're an earth sign. Knight of Pentacles. Making small moves towards something. But in the in that time, getting very grounded and very supportive. Coming in and knowing that, you know, because you took the time you know, at a snail's pace because you took the time and you went very slow in achieving something or somebody coming towards you, it's, it's, you're going to know you can trust it. It's going to be protective. It's going to be dedicated because you went the distance and what you need to let go of. Well, first of all, there's a queen and a king. <laughs> But with a king of fire, sometimes they have an ego. It could be um, a Leo. But let go of anything. I mean, be powerful and be bold. But don't have, um, don't be over the top. Don't be, don't have an ego. Don't think about things with your ego. You know, think more with your mind, with your soul, with your heart. Leave the ego to the side. But there could be a divine connection coming, and it might have been a slow, slow distance, a snail's pace coming together. But like I said, you'll be able to trust it. It'll be long term, higher level of commitment. I know that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to bring get more on the, these cards. For some of you, if you're still in school or you decided to go back with the Page of Pentacles, it might be where you meet your person. For some of you, being a Pentacle also could be your divine counterpart, could be somebody that you work or, you know, if you're traveling for work or you're going to seminars for work, it might be during that time that you run into someone, it's going to turn out to be your divine counterpart. But there is hope. There is hope in these situations. There is hope that you're going to achieve whatever it is that you got that is on your mind. Pay attention to feathers in the near future. There's a fe two feathers in his hat. Whatever it is that you're thinking about contemplating on, if it's a person, a new um, career path, you're able to succeed at it. 
I feel like in, in that journey, you're going to come across your twin flame. I mean, your twin flame, your soulmate. It's going to be a soulmate connection. Two of Cups. Let me see what comes right after the Ten of Swords. It could be somebody from the past where it ended. Where you haven't been able to stop thinking about them. Where spirit's telling you, be bold, be fearless, and make that move towards them. That there is luck blossoming here. There's good fortune. You're each other's wish fulfillment. And the person is coming in, coming in very quickly. You could have been at a slow pace before. And things just transpired and didn't work in your favor. Yeah, they're traveling towards you with the Six of Swords. They could be traveling to you. You could be at a distance from this person. A body of water could separate the two of you. But they're traveling towards you. And they want to make this work. Yeah, it was somebody that walked away from you. Or you walked away from them. Let's see what comes out for love. This person could have manifested this return. Or you could have. Both of you could possibly not be able to get each other off your minds. And where they were at night, now they're showing up a king. Like I said, they're going to be able to support you. You know, it's going to be a higher level of commitment. Could be a fellow earth sign. Maybe with fire, so much passion for the, between the two of you. If there was a separation, and I think there was with this Eight of Cups here, no matter what offers you're getting, no matter what offers this person coming in towards you is getting, it doesn't matter. It's Nothing is intriguing either one of you. You really can't get each other off your minds. Spirit, can I please, this is the only sign I'm doing this for because I really need to know if it's about love. Can I please have, and as I say that, my phone goes off. Can I please have three more cards for a Taurus? Clarify if this is love. Well, I'll have you know that the King of Cups came out. One, one card that it's about love. Somebody taking a leap of faith. And there's that brand new offer. Yep. It's about love. Somebody's coming back, taking that leap of faith, bringing a brand new offer in. One that somebody that might have ghosted you or left you feeling alone and devastated. So all I have to say to that is be fierce, be bold, trust your instincts. The reason they're coming back is they see you shining. They ne you, nothing ever got you down. The sun is up and you're making the best out of every day. And again, luck is on your side. But you're glowing. That's the reason they're coming back. So trust their energy. Trust your instincts on their energy. If it's a different energy and it's more grounded and more trustworthy, go with it. All right, Taurus, let me know how this resonates. Do the rituals. They're real easy. Even if you don't use crystals, just do that paper ritual. It's a way to manifest what you truly want. All right, get your thoughts down on paper and then put it in that dirt. All right, guys, love and light. I'll be back for many more readings. Stay safe.